Hey K-drama lovers! We all know that in 2024, the scale was tipped pretty much in favor of some incredible dramas. Not every highly anticipated show managed to sweep the floor, though. Some were supposed to be super hits but turned out to be flops. Let's get right into the top 7 K-dramas predicted to be hits but finally became flops, spectacularly so. And trust me, you really don't want to miss out on number 1. 7. Chicken Nugget, a star-studded flop. Imagine a girl who turns into a chicken nugget. Yes, you heard that right. With its star-studded cast and its rather quirky premise, Chicken Nugget was expected to be one of the biggest hits. Admittedly, the odd concept brought in many viewers in the beginning, but this very charm wore off fast. The show polarized audiences into two camps, some found absurdity at the heart of humor, and others just couldn't get around it. With an IMDb score of only 5.1 out of 10, most audiences were less than impressed. Humor in the movie was variously described as mindless, and its plot absolutely sucked to most. 6. The Bequeathed, Unsettling but Unfulfilling Next up is The Bequeathed, an occult drama from the mind of Yan Sang-ho, known for his groundbreaking projects like Train to Busan and Hellbound. With a plot revolving around shamanism and creepy settings, The Bequeathed had the potential to be a spine-chilling experience. The story follows Kim Hu's character as she inherits her family's burial ground, igniting a sinister conflict with her half-brother, played by Ryu kyung Su. The first few episodes were promising, filled with eerie atmospheres and intriguing mysteries. However, the show soon devolved into a slow burn that left viewers restless. Critics found the horror elements bland and not scary at all. The plot became confusing and predictable, with too many subplots thrown in without proper development. The lack of depth and character development was glaringly obvious. Even the efforts of talented actors like Yan Yung-hoon and Kang Hae-yoon couldn't save the show from its downfall. The disappointing finale, riddled with loose ends and unanswered questions, left viewers feeling frustrated and unfulfilled. The Bequeathed, which could have been a thrilling occult drama, ended up being a major letdown. 5. Captivating the King, Another Historical Letdown Captivating the King had it all to be a breathtaking historical drama. With the turbulence of times, it had the makings of a tragic love story, full of betrayals. King In, acted by Jo Young Suk, is an isolated and untrusting king who finds some unusual attractions in Kongu, played by Shin Se Kyung, a woman driven by her desire for revenge who accidentally falls in love with him. The execution, however, left much to be desired. Viewers immediately criticized it for being the same historical drama with the same old elements. The awful costumes topped off the controversy list. Shin Se Kyung's man disguise came complete with lip gloss and a full face of makeup, essentially making her very unconvincing in her disguise. The acting, especially Se Kyung's, was superbly criticized, as many viewers just could not turn a blind eye to it. With regard to the chemistry between leads, it was flimsy at best, be it due to bad acting or poor development. Captivating the King, barring its potential, ended up being another forgettable addition to the historical drama genre. 4. Goodbye Earth, a total disaster. Goodbye, Earth was called the most ambitious project in 2024. It became highly noticed, primarily due to the starring of actor Yu Ah-in. He was, however, swept into an illegal substance scandal in February 2023, which brought the premiere of the show to a close at the end of 2023. And then, finally, Farewell Earth aired a year later to horrible reviews. Shockingly, it wasn't at Yu Ah-in but at the horrible plot. The drama follows a group of citizens from a small Korean town who navigate the chaos as an asteroid threatens Earth, which trashes its overstuffed plot and confusing timeline. There were too many characters and storylines that were disconnected, it became difficult to keep track. Time jumps, constant throughout the story, didn't help matters. Extensive editing to remove scenes featuring Yu Ah and further makes the show choppy. For a drama about the end of the world, it sure seemed to get into everything but that. Goodbye Earth ended up being a total disaster with many viewers abandoning it mid-watch. 3. Wedding Impossible, The Unfulfilled Promise Wedding Impossible had everything that would make for a trendsetter K-drama. With an engaging trailer and the absolute allure of a gay storyline, it became arguably one of the most anticipated releases for the year. 
Jun Jong Soo took on the role of Na Jong, an actress wannabe who could not seem to get that career defining break, while Kim Dan -in played the role of Lee Do Han, a Jong's best friend for 15 years and the gay male lead. It kicked off really well with nice chemistry and certain good plot twists. Then, episode after episode, it started to get criticism. Overused tropes and too much usage of cliches began making it very draggy. The viewers were particularly most let down by the lack of hype that surrounded the character of Dohan. He had been hyped as the tale of a gay lead, however, hardly anything focused on this in this series. Ultimately, Wedding Impossible failed to live up to its potential of becoming a breakthrough production in Korean television. All it did was weave some lies while the drama and suspense died out, leaving viewers empty and bored. 2. The Impossible Air, A Loop of Clichés The Impossible Air was a classic rags-to-riches tale with a twist. It followed an illegitimate son and his boyhood friend who set his sights on becoming the leader of a rich company. Here, in this drama, there is everything, plot, excitement, the underdog hero, and intense power struggles. Unfortunately, it turned into a frustrating cycle of clichés. Every K-drama trope imaginable was ticked off, leaving the viewer feeling deja vu. One reviewer claimed that the characters were cartoonish and impossible to take seriously. The audiences felt with the too predictable plot that they had seen everything already. The director's choices did not help either. Confusing time jumps and weird editing choices added to the mess. Even, Lee Jae-wook could not save the show. Needless to say, Hong Suzu, an actress, was also slammed for her inexperience, as people said she had acted in as stale a way as can be, with people mocking her facial expressions and pronunciation. The impossible error turned out to be a big disappointment for K-drama lovers. 1. Hierarchy, The Great Disappointment Topping our list is Hierarchy, which was expected to be a standout drama of 2024. The premise sounded intriguing, a transfer student enters one of South Korea's most prestigious schools, shaking up the established order and causing chaos among the elite students. It promised drama, suspense, and a fresh take on the high school genre. However, viewers felt deceived. The storyline, which could have been a thrilling roller coaster, ended up being a monotonous ride. Critics pointed out that Hierarchy felt like a watered-down version of the Spanish hit show Elite. The narrative, filled with rich kids behaving recklessly, quickly became repetitive and uninspired. The revenge plot, which was supposed to be the show's main hook, lacked depth and failed to deliver the intensity viewers craved. Many fans described the show as presenting fine wine but serving water instead. The fast-paced nature of the series didn't help either, making it hard for viewers to connect with the characters or the plot. These 2024 K-dramas promised excitement, innovation, and memorable stories but failed to deliver. Whether it was due to poor writing, bad acting, or unfulfilled promises, these shows left viewers feeling let down. While the K-drama industry continues to produce gems, these flops serve as a reminder that not all that glitters is gold.